Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So through research online, I saw that you could use your kombucha scoby to make kombucha leather or kombucha fabric. So I just cleaned my kombucha brewing containers and I had so many extra scobies, I decided to do a little experiment. So here I have some scobies, old scobies from my one gallon and my two gallon containers. See how thick they are? These are just so many different scopies that I've had from different containers that I keep adding, um, which actually helps the kombucha to brew faster. But right now I realize there's just so many in there, it's almost more scopies than kombucha. So I'm going to give these a nice wash and come back and um, show you what I'm gonna do next. So I've washed the scobies. What I did was use tepid water and I added a few drops of orange scented uh, essential oils just to take that vinegary smell off of there. So, and I know some bugs are attracted to that vinegar smell, so hopefully that will keep them away. I have a container here. I just lined, it's a cardboard box or part of a cardboard box. I lined it with some plastic then with some newspaper and then some parchment paper. I've seen online videos where people have done it on just pieces of wood, flat pieces of wood, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna just use what I have here. So I'm going to just lay the pieces of SCOBY on there. Some of them are really thick. As you can see, this one is thick. Um, some of them I tried separating them, but they, they ended up tearing. So I just left them as is. As the water evaporates out of these, um, the scobies will shrink in size. So I'm just really curious to see what happens if I do it the way I'm doing it. So as you can see, they're all different, all different sizes and thinness and thickness. So I just really am curious to see what happens. And I'm going to try to lay them as flat as I can and utilize my space as well as I can here. This is a huge one and really thick. Um, when I try to separate it, Actually, this one does seem like it's coming off, but yeah, it tears. All right, so I'm gonna just leave it because it's tearing, so let's see. And I'm probably have to, I'll probably have to create a new container because I don't want them necessarily overlapping. I want them to lay as flat as possible. So, but for now, for now, we'll just, um, Leave it like this and I'll do a follow up to see how it's coming along. I have no idea how many days it'll take to dehydrate. Um, I suppose it depends on how warm it is. So that's what it looks like guys for right now. So I'll do a video tomorrow just to see how it looks and um, let you know how things are going. So here are the scobies that I am putting to dehydrate. As you can see, they're all different shapes and sizes. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they are going to become. Here are some bigger ones. And as you can see, that one there is a really thin one that's getting pretty dry. And here are some more. And what I'll do is monitor it um, daily to see how they progress. And I will keep you guys up to date. Okay guys, so the scobies are all dehydrated. Um, so I'm going to be removing them from the paper that they're on here. So let's see how they look. So this one comes off really easy. You can see it um, took the texture of the paper and it sounds like plastic and feels like plastic. 
and it's very flexible, a little bit translucent, if you can see my fingers there, and the smell, it smells very mild because um, I rinsed it before drying it. Um, let's see if this one comes off as easily. Yeah, this one is the same, same texture. Okay, I'm going to remove one of the larger ones. This is one of the bigger ones from my uh, two-gallon container. So let's see how this one does. This one is definitely thicker. This was one of the really thick ones. Um, okay, this it feels um, a little bit sticky. Um, definitely heavier because this was a really thick one. This was, I think, originally a half inch. So um, definitely stronger. I'll pull it tightly and see what happens. Very, very, very strong. Very, very, very strong. And both both directions, it's, it's very, very strong. If I pull on this one, let's see. This is also very strong. If I try to tear it, it's not really not easy to tear at all. Just one thin part of it came off, but the, the sturdier part is still intact. So I would say all in all, it was a good experiment. Thanks for watching.